So recall from the previous section that the first derivative test determines the extrema and where the function is increasing or decreasing. So if f is continuous on a and b and c is a critical number. If f prime changes from positive to negative at x equals c, then that point c comma f of c is a relative max. And if f prime changes from negative to positive at x, c, at x equals c, then c comma f of c is a relative min. And if f prime does not change signs at x is equal to c, then that point c comma f of c is neither a max nor a min. It is not a relative extrema. So to use our first derivative test to find our local extrema, we have our function f of x is equal to negative 2x to the third plus 6x squared minus 3. f prime of x is equal to negative 6x squared plus 12x. Set our derivative equal to 0. Do not have to consider does not exist because we have a polynomial. Then factoring out the negative 6x, we have x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 2 is the critical numbers for f of x. So then we make our f prime number line and put our critical numbers on that f prime number line and pick test numbers in each section using 1, 3, and negative 1. Take those test numbers and put those into the derivative. Factored form is going to be easier, putting in negative 1 there. f prime will be negative, putting in positive 1. f prime will be positive and putting in 3 f prime is negative. So imagine the graph of f, since f prime was negative, decreasing, then increasing, then decreasing. So since f prime changes from negative to positive at x is equal to 0, there's a relative minimum at 0 comma, getting the y value by plugging 0 into the original function, 0 comma negative 3. And since f prime changes from positive to negative at x, x equals 2, we have a relative maximum at 2 comma, and again getting the y value from the original function, substituting in 2, 2 comma 5. Now to sketch our graph to support graphically, we have 0 comma negative 3 and 2 comma 5. f is decreasing, then increasing, and then decreasing again. And that's the sketch of f of x. Next example, we're going to find out where f prime is positive, negative, and 0. So we're going to find out when f prime is equal to 0 to start with. When f prime is equal to 0, at x is equal to negative 2, 0, 2, and 3. That's because f is neither increasing nor decreasing at these x values. And also by looking at the graph, we can see we made horizontal tangent lines at those values of x. Next thing, we're going to look at where f prime is greater than 0. So f prime is greater than 0 on the interval from negative infinity to negative 2, union 0 to 2, union 3 to infinity. That's because f is increasing on those intervals. And lastly, finding where f prime is less than 0. And f prime is less than 0 on the intervals from negative 2 to 0, union 2 to 3, because f is decreasing on those intervals. And now given the graph of f prime to decide where f is increasing, decreasing, or extreme are. So looking at where f prime is equal to 0, looking on the x-axis, f prime is equal to 0, at x is equal to negative 3, negative 1, and 2. And that's because that's where f prime crosses the x-axis. And I make a little f prime number line to help us visualize what's going on with this, putting on those critical numbers of negative 3, negative 1, and 2. Then find where f prime is greater than 0, and f prime is greater than 0 on the interval from negative 3 to negative 1, union 2 to infinity. And that's because f prime is above the x-axis. I'm putting those positive symbols on that number line. Now we're going to find where f prime is less than 0. f prime is less than 0 when f prime is below the x-axis. That's from negative infinity to negative 3, and then union from negative, two, negative 1 to 2. So now to write f is increasing on the interval from negative 3 to negative 1, union 2 to infinity, because f prime was positive. f is decreasing on the interval from negative infinity to negative 3, union negative 1 to 2, because f prime was negative. And there's a relative max at x is equal to negative 1, because f prime changes from positive to negative. And a relative min at x is equal to negative 3, 
and x is equal to negative 2 because f prime changes from negative to positive. And to visualize how f would look, it's decreasing, increasing, decreasing, and then increasing again.